Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us learn to construct a quadrilateral when other special properties are known. Let us read the question. Draw a square of side 4.5 cm. Initially, Initially it, appears it appears that, that only, only one, one measurement, measurement has, been, has given. been given. But actually, but actually we had we many, have more, many details more details with us. With us. Because, because the, the figure, figure is a special quadrilateral, namely a square, square, we know, know that, that all the sides are of length 4.5 cm and each of its angle is a right angle. Our first step to construct such a square would be to draw a line segment AB of length 4.5 cm. Next, construct a right angle at A and B. Now we have to locate a point D on this line. So we open our compass to 4.5 cm as radius and with A as center, mark an arc on this line and name it D. Similarly, we have to locate the point C on this line so we mark an arc at 4.5 cm distance and name it C. Now it remains to join CD. After joining CD, ABCD is the required square. Let us look at another special case of constructing a quadrilateral. Let us read the question. Is it possible to construct a rhombus ABCD where AC is equal to 6 cm and BD is equal to 7 cm? So we have a rough figure of the required rhombus. Also in the question, only two diagonal measurements of the rhombus are given. However, to draw a quadrilateral, we need five measurements. So let us use the property that diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of one another. That means diagonals AC and BD will divide each other into equal halves and they will be perpendicular to each other. So now let us start with our construction. We have to draw a line segment AC equal to 6 cm. So using a ruler, let us draw a line segment 6 cm in length. Next we have to construct perpendicular bisector of AC. To do that, we will open our compass to more than half the length of line AC and mark the arcs with A as center and then with C as center on both the sides of AC. On joining the two points, we get the perpendicular bisector of the line AC. Mark the point of intersection as O. Now it remains to plot the points B and D which will lie on this perpendicular bisector. With O as center and 
3.5 cm as radius on your compass mark the arcs on both side of the line ac name them b and d now join ab and bc and ad and cd then abcd is the required rhombus